Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been, it's been a long time. There's a, it's been a lot going on. Um, but I'm coming at you with some new content. Uh, I've been really digging Animal Crossing lately. It's what I've been spending most of my time doing. Basically, I've been playing Animal Crossing a lot, and in order to have a lot of things you really want in Animal Crossing, I realized that you have to do this thing called trading. Um, so in order to trade on Animal Crossing, there is this site called Nookazon. You, you probably guessed it, like Amazon. It's more like eBay, to be honest, for Animal Crossing stuff. I see a lot of people talking on like Twitter and a lot of my friends. Um, when I say that I shop with Nookazon to get a lot of cool stuff, people are really, really intimidated by it, which I get because when I first started using Nookazon, I was really weirded out by it. Um, cause like the thought of like making offers to strangers and stuff just felt weird. Um, never mind selling myself. It was super intimidating. Um, but when I finally really, I really, really wanted, um, a pink guitar that I saw, I felt like it was very low risk. It wasn't that much money and we traded and it was fine. <laughs> it wasn't a big deal at all. Um, and I was just scared of nothing. So today I wanted to show you how you can shop on Nookazon and how you can sell on Nookazon because I've been selling on Nookazon for the past week and I've made about a million bells a day, which is crazy. <laughs> and it makes it easier for me to get other stuff on Nookazon when I sell my own stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to shop on there, how to avoid getting scammed, um, and just, yeah, what to expect. Um, first, I'm actually gonna show you a little bit of my island. Keep in mind, it's not close to finish yet. But I'm gonna show you a little bit of like the stuff I got on Nookazon so you have like, I don't know, some kind of way of gauging what you can get on there. And also I'll, if I remember, I'll include the prices for which I bought them for. Okay, so let's jump into that. New camera angle. Hello, how are you? <laughs> okay, so this is my this is my house. Um, so first off, these flowers are mainly bought off of Nookazon. You can kind of see my villagers have them around me as well. Um, I bought all of those on Nookazon pretty much. I was trying to breed flowers and I just didn't have the patience. The pricing for this is a little hard because I bought them from a bunch of different people and some people are charging way more than others. Um, but for the most part, I think I got pretty good prices. So that's one thing, you can buy hybrids on Nookazon. Um, I have this little mini library. I got the DIY for it on Nookazon. I forgot how much I paid for it, but I'll, I'll put it on the screen somewhere so that you know because um, I did buy this fairly recently and I just customized it um, and I think it looks super cute there. Okay, so let's go down here. The palm tree, that DIY I got on Nookazon. The moon DIY I got on Nookazon. The floor lights I got on Nookazon. Um, these mushroom lamps I also got on Nookazon. There's so much stuff I got. These street lamps, I got some of them on Nookazon. I got some of them from a friend. As you can see, there's a bunch of flowers here. These are all from Nookazon. I'm trying to do a pink flower island, if you couldn't tell. So all that stuff is from Nookazon. I have the complete pink diner set and I have the complete cute set. Um, I got most of the cute set from my cousin, thank you Jessica, but I got the two pieces that I was missing in white on Nookazon and I got the entire pink diner set on Nookazon. I have so much stuff from Nookazon or that I got on Nookazon. So that's just like the stuff that's on the outside. I have even more stuff on my inventory. But I guess the point that I'm trying to prove is you can really get almost anything you want on Nookazon, um, but you gotta have the Nook Mile tickets, the bells, or sometimes wish list items to do so. Also, I know a lot of the stuff that I have was purchased using Nook Mile tickets, but you can get a lot of stuff using bells too. I just had a lot of Nook Mile tickets to spend left over, so that's what most of my stuff is bought using. So that's what you can get on Nookazon, but let's go over how to actually use the website. Okay, so I'm on Nookazon right now, obviously. Um, this is what the site looks like. It's just nookazon.com. Now you can scroll down. They have a little brief description on how it works, latest listings, whatever. Um, but you don't really have to do much on the homepage. You can just browse by category, but I don't find that to be super helpful because it's not like Amazon where it shows you like the most co like popular items or anything. It's kind of just like by category. Um, so here's some tips from like even looking for Nookazon. First tip, have some bells and Nook Mile tickets ready to spare. Sometimes you can get lucky and people put wishlist items and you can trade them for something that you have. 
but a lot of the times you're really gonna have to cash out some bells or nook mile tickets and it gets more and more expensive the more popular of item you want is or the villager you want is and then my second tip would just be that you need to search by exact item names so let me give you an example so if I search cute couch, literally nothing shows up, but I know that there's a cute couch. The reason it's not showing up is because it's called cute sofa. So stuff like that, you really need to pay attention to um, because sometimes you won't be able to find an item unless you know the exact name. It's kind of annoying. I end up just looking on like Nookopedia if I can't think of the name. Um, but yeah, it can get really frustrating sometimes. The one thing about Nook is on is that it just doesn't have like that search optimization where it like knows keywords. You just can't find the item you're looking for unless you have the exact name. That includes dashes in between names. Like for example, I look up cherry blossom, nothing pops up. I put a dash, a whole bunch of items pop up. <laughs> um, so yeah, you just have to really put it like exactly how it's written in the game, which is kind of annoying, but it's doable. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to like actually shop on the site. So here we have, let's just pretend we're going for the cherry blossom clock. I already have it. Okay, so you'll see offers like this, but you see like some of the DIY recipe, if you scroll down, some of them are different colors. So you're like, how do I get exactly what I want? Well, you scroll up here, there's little pictures. Let's say I want this color, great. It's gonna show you the most recent people that posted, and this is usually the best kind of person to go for um, because it means that they're probably online. People usually have the green little thing next to them if they're online. That can be up even if you're not online. So I would just recommend uh, trying to stick to whoever's at the top because those are the people you're probably gonna get a response from first. So let's view this listing. So this person prefers wish list trades, um, and obviously they say they're accepting the Kamao tickets for wish list items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on their name up here. That'll take me to their account and I'm going to go on their wish list. And you can scroll through it and see if you have anything on their wish list. So let's say I have a wooden bookshelf, for example, right? We're going to go back to the original listing. I'm going to make an offer and I could offer the Nook Wild tickets or what I can do is I can type in, I'll type in wooden bookshelf. Let's see, is it on here? right here and then you just choose what variant you have of it i think they were looking for brown right and then you submit the offer and then you can trade if they accept your offer and they'll sh they'll send you the dodo code um so that's what you can do for that hello guys it's editing leah i realized that i didn't explain how to sell directly on the nookazon site so i'm gonna do that real quick um as you can see i looked up the mush lamp so we're just gonna click on this baby here um, I was confused about this at first, which is why I wanted to show you guys, but you know you can buy from this site, but you just click add listing and then you can set the amount you want. You can, you can pick the variation that you have, or if you have the DIY recipe, you can check that off. You can do cataloging, which you can't do for this item. Um, so cataloging is just when they pick up and drop the item. You can ask them for offers and then say what you'll accept. Um, and then you can also say materials required if you're just crafting it for people. Um, yeah, so it's pretty simple. You can also do an auction, but I wouldn't recommend that. But yeah, so that's how you can add a listing. So that's how you can do it through the Nook is on site. However, I've learned that that's not exactly the best way all the time to shop on Nook is on. Sometimes it's really great if you're looking for a specific item, but if you prefer more to browse, or even if you are looking for a specific item, I would recommend using the Nook is on Discord. So this is what the Nook is on Discord looks like. Obviously these are just like the Nook is on talk channels but this is how they organize it. There's art trade, cataloging, clothing, DIYs, and people are constantly posting in here. Look, there's so many posts. I have to scroll all the way down to get to the most recent. People are constantly posting on here what they're looking for and what they're selling. So if you've never done any of this before, FT or FS means like for trade or for sale. So like this person put FT, South Hemp Seasonal, right here and what, what they're looking for in exchange is the North Hem Seasonal DIY, right? So you can do FT, if you're selling something yourself, you can do FT, whatever the item is, and then what you're looking for, bells, Nook Mile tickets, or wishlist items, right? 
Or the opposite, you can be looking for something and then you can for trade, have bells, the mile tickets, etc. Um, so that's how you would kind of work in the Discord. A lot of the times you're gonna have to message these people directly if you wanna trade with them. So that's how you would operate in the Discord. So that's how I think are the best ways to make money on Nikazon and how to use the site. I made this video because I had watched videos before and I felt like they didn't really explain the site to me as much as I wanted them to. If you guys have any questions about Nukazon or like pricing or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll respond to them. I love helping people, especially when it comes to getting into like different parts of Animal Crossing in the community. I think Nukazon is a great way to get those items that you really want. It's how I got my moon DIYs that I'm super happy with, even though they cost 60 Nick Mile tickets for both of them. Nukazon honestly is a great way to just get people to come and buy your stuff. I actually did an entire stream where I built this and my followers helped me build it. Um, so if you want to take part in stuff like that, you can follow me on Twitch. All right, so my Nukazon shop is actually at the entrance of my island. Um, so you walk through here. I have some free DIYs for people to take. I just put whatever extra ones I get and leave them there. Um, so people who are coming to visit or coming to catalog can grab them. I have this little sign that I put this payment here custom design on, which I will link down below. This can also go on the ground. I just put it on the sign because it just kind of messed up the pathing. Um, so what I do is I stand here, I wait for someone to pay, I'll pick up the payment, and then I'll lead them to whatever set they're buying, or if they're buying both, I'll let them go to either. So this is just like the kind of setup. I've had someone once, they didn't want to pay, and when I they saw that this payment here set up was set up so that they couldn't just steal or like catalog, they just left. Um, and honestly, I prefer that, right? I prefer to stand there and block people from getting in and then let them in after they pay. That way you can't get scammed. Someone can't catalog and then pay you money. I highly recommend fencing. I highly recommend doing it at the entrance of your island. I'm trying to make it look as pretty as possible because I know we want pretty entrances, but this is the easiest because you can block off any entrance to the rest of your island so they can't take any of your other items. If you have Nook Mile tickets laying around, if you're using any of the other items around the island, like you're using the island for storage, they can't access them. Um, and they also can't pick your flowers, get into your house, you know. It kind of prevents them from doing that and makes it just solely transactional. Um, and you're just running your own little shop. So that's my setup that I have for my Nook Miles selling. I think it works perfectly. I used it so many times over like 30 or 40 people have come and I haven't gotten scammed once. But yeah, so that's my setup. I hope it inspires some of you to like make your own. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video kind of explained Nukazon a little bit better um, and made it a little less intimidating for you. If you have any questions about anything Nukazon related or selling or trading related, be sure to leave them down below. I am super, super open to talking to you guys. If my little Nukazon shop inspired you to create your own, feel free to send them to me. You can find me on all social media at Leah C Comedy. And if you like my island, or you like any of the designs I'm doing, or you just love Animal Crossing, I stream Animal Crossing every week on Twitch, so be sure to follow me there. Um, and if you have any other videos or any other questions about anything Animal Crossing or related to my island, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll try to make a dedicated video to them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye.